How did I empower myself? I used to just say shit out loud to myself. You know, when I would feel the dark cloud of doubt coming in. What you have to do in general is when the doubt comes in, you got to beat the shit out of it. The biggest thing is that you're conscious of the self-doubt. So once you're conscious of it, you can then address it. It's when you're really young and you're not conscious of it. And that thought comes in and then you start dwelling on it. And then it just washes over your whole body. And you can literally have a fucking panic attack. What you have to do, I did anyways, is, um, you know, you try to cancel it out with a positive thought. I know this sounds like hokey shit, but I used to just say shit out loud. And it started off with like, I would just be walking down the street. You know, walking by other people, and I would just randomly be, just be like, yeah, fuck that, fuck that. <laughs> be looking at me like I was nuts. But I was like, fuck that negative thought. I mean, I wouldn't yell it, but I would, I would kind of just say, fuck that, fuck that. No, it isn't. No, it isn't, right? No, it won't, or whatever the hell it was. And then it just became like, when I moved to New York, and um, trying to get in at the clubs, I knew I was going to get in, but, you know, the day-to-day just seemed like... Uh, like impossible and you know the club owners and everything and you know some of them were cool and others enjoyed the fact that you were desperate and just really enjoyed that position of power over you and uh i would walk out of the club dejected you know i was afraid you know am i gonna run out of money i don't have a job right now i'm doing these driving back to massachusetts to fucking feature in dick doherty's rooms that was not barely covering you know, living in New York, every time you stepped outside, you blew 20 bucks, 30 bucks, you know? And um, what I said was, I'm tougher than you, New York, is that what I would say. As hokey as that sound, that's what they, they, you know, the city would kick me in the balls, and then I would just mumble that to myself, you know, sometimes like six times in a row until I got that thought on my head, and I would just say, and then I would just be like, I'm going to get in the clubs. I'm going to get in and I'm I'm going to make a living. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. (laughs) I mean, something like that. That's what I had to do. So what I would say is you just baby step your way. Like for me, making it as a comedian was like a 20 year fucking 15, 20 year process. I was obviously I was not the overnight. I didn't have the hook. I didn't have any of that fucking shit. And I just basically every day, you know, was fucking hacking at the tree until it came down. You know, you just don't quit. You just, that's it. You just don't quit. You don't give it a negative thought. And every day you just fucking take a few steps towards it. And then one day you just wake up and you're where you wanted to be. And you're like, how the fuck did that happen?